Hello everyone, I am Game Jakes, and welcome to my very first Let's Play of Game Dev Tycoon. Now this is a fairly new indie game, it came out a couple months ago, and it's just a regular tycoon game like Roller Coaster Tycoon, Zoo Tycoon, except you develop games and it's pretty fun and addicting. So for our company name, we're going to be uh, the Red Rockets, because I don't think that name will stir controversy. And um, the our name will be the Red Ranger from Power Rangers, because he's red and we're the Red Rockets, so it seems fine. And uh, yeah, we'll be that. Alright, now let's see. We're going to develop a new game, and we're going to be called uh, Red Warriors of uh, Mercury. Mercury's red, I think. Just, just Merc, actually, just Merc. It's gonna be uh, space, cause Mercury, and uh, simulation. And we're gonna we're gonna do it on the PC because you gotta show that PC some love. It's gonna be uh, we'll do uh, text based just for now, cause the best simulations are text based because you can't see anything. Now for a simulation for the Red Warriors of Merc. We're, we're, we're gonna, everyone loves that gameplay. Us, fuck the story quest and the engine, and we'll just. Well, well, it's red, and engine's red, so actually we'll move on that. And so now what these represent is just how well you design the game and how well the. I'm not gonna blow your mind with this, but how well the technology goes in the game. Oh, the red, uh, red again. I don't care if it, if uh, these are really important. I don't care. Because it, it, it says red in the title, so everything else has to be red. I don't care if I get bad reviews. And no, uh, red again. Uh, you know, fuck everything else. And we're gonna release our uh, little masterpiece right here. Ocarina of Time. Don't have shit on Red Warriors of Merc. Critics are calling um, our game. Uh, 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 oh, uh, uh, what is that? Oh, what is? It makes you cur. Uh, oh, informed. Uh, oh, I still have nightmare. Uh, uh. Don't. Bu well, um, let's uh, yeah, you know, a critical acclaim. We're just gonna see. Nicholas Riz, the first game in the game, got general those scores from reviewers, both the big experience, we're sure that we'll see better games from the HA! News has a right, the Red Rockets are gonna rock the shit out of everyone. Look at, look at, it got a 1 out of 10 and everyone else fucking loves it. It sold 960 units, dumbasses. I see, it's selling good, it's selling good, we're going over our monthly costs. Alright, now let's, uh, release a real game into the market, one that I think everyone will like. Uh, we're gonna call it a Prostitute Strangler. Because I've had experience with this type of topic, I think I'll be able to, uh, produce a good game out of it. It's gonna be, a uh, medieval RPG because, um, you're role-playing as someone who strangles prostitutes. And again, the PC again, of course. It's gonna be 2D graphics because you wanna, you know, Strangle your brass too, not in a text based. And there's gotta be a story to go along with it. Like, why are you strangling these prostitutes? And of course, some gameplay, because you, you, how is he gonna strangle them? And you wanna talk to him, so that's good. Um, the design of the prostitute's pretty good. How she acts, though, won't matter, because you're gonna be making her act. <laughs> oh god. Hmm. All right, we're up here. So we got some designs of technology. The world's end's got to be out there because, well, you know, the alley that you're probably gonna be in with this prostitute, it, it should look good. It should look pretty nice. And you gotta hear her screams. Holy shit! Fucked up. Well, as you can see here, um, our first game got us. No fans. I don't know why they didn't like Red Warriors of Merc. I'm ready to release Skate because we had to get our bugs out. Prostitute Strangler. Ah, you see? You see? Our design technology is the roof of Prostitute Strangler. Now let's see who uh, people 
are saying. Five out of ten. Yeah, you see? That, see, that five out of ten is good because that means it's like 50% the prostitute strangling simulation that should be truly made. It's quirky but good. I fun at stages. Oh, Game Hero likes their S and M. And I just want to look at our game history code because I want to say I've read where it is and Merc sold and oh, we lost money. <laughs> Dumbasses. Now, we had 70k star, but now, holy shit! 19 fans really want to strangle a prostitute. So we sold, we sold 5,000, uh, you know, copies and we got 20 fans around there. Hi there, I just finished prostitute strangling and I'm impressed by your talent. But sure, I'll work for you, you seem like a good guy. I'm in the contracting business because we could use skills like yours. If you're ever short on cash, just let me know and I'll see if I have some work for you. Jeez. I don't think this guy knows that I make video games. Recent market study show that the Gold of Ador G64 is still the outside competitors. I don't care. Experts say that a lot of people really want to strangle a prostitute. It's uh, pretty interesting. A lot of people, really. <laughs> I, uh, makes me more scared than proud of how well it's selling. But, uh, let's make a new game. Um, let's call it, uh, let's see if we, if we, if we can get, uh, what can we make? Hmm. How about, uh,. No, it's a very tough decision because you gotta think about uh, what to make in the market. So um, uh, we're just gonna make a Dixical. If you wanna find out what Dixical is, you gotta buy the game. That's a brilliant tactic. It's gonna be a military. <laughs> action, action, definitely. A lot of action. And for the PC, because you know, fuck everything else. We're gonna make 2D graphics because you gotta render the Dixical. Um, there's not very much story with the Dixical. The engine built around the Dick Skull has to be good, and you have to play with this. Oh, and not as much as, you know, Dick Skull has a mind of its own. Um, no one's gonna be talking to a Dick Skull, but it has a mind of its own and the structure of the Dick Skull. You don't need anything to think about, but you want the Dixical to be, like, kind of lively. By the way, since this is in our uh, real life, uh, I'm, I have to tell you, what a Dixical is, it's, it's a monument in Peru. Fireworks. Oh, Ninvento made Dinky King. Ha! I get it. Oh, Prostring South America sold that. Oh, oh, holy shit. That is. That is odd. And let's see how many people uh, like a dick skull. Oh, oh, see, we're leveling up. Oh, we got 80 fans for the Prostring Strangler. Let's see, dick skull. Let's see. Could have been more. Well, my dick skull is fine. Thank you, Star Games. Shows potential. Yeah, my. Yeah. It's at, it's at its maximum potential. I'm sorry, important gamer. Enjoyable. Yeah, you see, Game Hero thinks my Dixical is enjoyable. It's a good game, yes, thank you. I don't see how it sells. I see you're gaining fans. People love that Dixical. Right, let's see what we should get next. Cause you gotta think for a second. What do the people want? What do people want? A simulation of Lindsay Lohan. Perfect. No, the D, the D. Lindsay Lohan, the D. It's gonna be uh, sports, cause she's sporty for some reason. And sports, uh, you know, simulation. To see, 2D graphics gotta capture the true essence of the Lohan. Um, 
I personally think this is pretty good because, um, you know, the D portion is easy to think of, but the Lindsay Lohan part, you gotta think, what goes into that? The artificial intelligence has to be good because you're controlling Lindsay Lohan, and how would she act? Like a dumbass. So, actually, it's gotta be pretty low. But, we'll see how this works. We'll see if that's uh, how the low hand uh, functions. The T E S. Oh, I get it, cause it's the N E S. <laughs> hmm, let's see what we got here. The sound should be good, cause you gotta hear Lindsay Lohan bitching all the way. If I were to have careers in the dream, and how her family doesn't love her. Dumb bitch. See what we got next. Uh, gotta get rid of the bugs. Dick's cool still selling pretty good. We have more new records. <laughs> Let's see how many people like Lindsay will hand the D. Dick's cool is now off the market. Dick's cool shall never be off the market. Let's see how many people like Lindsay will hand the D. Love it. Oh, whoop, start. Wow. Export and simulation is a great combination, but what about the D and Lindsay Lohan? And oh, it's a nice experience. I wouldn't call Lindsay Lohan a nice experience, but whatever you say, Game Hero. Played it for days. I would not play Lindsay Lohan for days either. Even if it involved a D. Well, I mean, especially if it involved a D. Oh, good God. Oh, what have I... What have I done? Oh, shit. You should probably make a... Uh, Huh, what now? What could we make? Um, I'm gonna make a Satan's Arsehole. Arizal, I like Arizal, because he's the god of war. Now, um, evil. And, uh, RPG, because you want it. Satan's Arsenal is actually the area you explore. So it'd be perfect. It's a play on words, as you see. And BAM! Story out of there. Oh, BAM! Engine, don't care. Gameplay out of the window. This game is all about the story. Satan's Arsenal is sophisticated. Hi, I'm Karen Limbers and Lucas. I've heard everyone say you're already working on your next game. Love to hear about this. Do you have some time? Oh, yes. People have, you know, the time to look at Satan's Arsenal. First look. Great. Thank you for your time. The interview should be published soon. Well, yeah, they should do wonders for my career when they learn that uh, we're making Satan's Arsehole. The Red Rockets, the look of startup, is trying to make it big in the gaming industry. The company has already published four games, working hard on their... <laughs> hard. Working hard on the next. An interview founder of the Red Ranger says the next game is going to be a medieval RPG game. Something the company has done before. It's great to see small local companies enter exciting new industries. All the best luck to the Red Rockets. Oh, there's a- People are excited for Satan's Arsehole. God, this is gonna be the most sophisticated game ever. You work on that, man. The Red Ranger's working hard on Satan's Arsehole. Uh oh. Now, bam, the design should be good. Screw everything else. Satan's Arsehole doesn't take any prisoners. Get rid of uh, oh, is it NES game? The TDS game out. Oh, I can see it there. Alright, let's see how Saiyan's Arsenal did. Okay. Oh, I don't. Well, let's release it. Let's see how Saiyan's Arsenal did. First reviews for our newly released game, Satan's Arsenal came in. Has its moments. Satan's Arsenal does have its moments. Then focus on dialogues for this game. Well, I told you because it's sophisticated. And even like, yeah, Game Hero, you know what's up. It is a good combination. Told me before. Have seen better. Well, fuck you all. All the games. What was it? God's Arsenal. That game. And let's see how Satan's Arsenal sells if I gain any fans from it. Ha! 
Eat that. Everyone loves it. 15 people love it. Well, that includes this first session of Game Dev Tycoon. I hope you appreciated it. And if you hit that subscribe button, that really helped me out. Thanks for watching.